Hello children and welcome again to Marvelous Maths. I am Sunyam. Do you see this number? I'm sure you know what it is. Yes, it's 100. In this lesson, we will learn about numbers up to 100. We will start by counting numbers up to 100 in tens. What do I mean by that? This is zero. If we count in tens, then the next number would be... Yes, ten. After ten, the next number in tens would be... Yes, twenty. And the next number in tens would be... Correct, thirty. We are getting good at this, so let's move on. After 30 is 40, then 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Very good. Now, Let's see the number names we just read as words. 50 F I F T Y 50 60 S I X T Y 60 70 S E V E N T Y, 70 80 E, I, G, H, T, Y, 80 90 N, I, N, E, T, Y, 90 100 O N E H U N D R E D 100 You will see that for the numbers 31 to 39 30 is always there We only have to add 1 or 2, or 3, depending on the number. So let's try 50 to 60 in ones. First is 50. F, I, F, T, Y. 50. Now, 51 would be 50 and 1. Right? So let's spell that. 51 F I F T Y O N E 51 Next would be 52 F I F T Y T W O 52 53 F I F T Y T H R E E 53 54 F I F T Y F O U R 54 55 F I F T Y F I V E 55 56 F 
I F T Y S I X fifty six fifty seven F I F T Y S E V E N fifty seven fifty eight F I F T Y E I G H T fifty eight fifty nine F I F T Y N I N E fifty nine sixty S I X T Y sixty simple, isn't it? I am now going to show you a number and some number names. Let's try and match the number to the correct number name. The number is. The number names are seventy four, forty four, sixty four. So, which is the correct number word that matches our number? Yes, seventy four. Now I am going to show you a number name, and we are going to see which number matches the name. The numbers are eighty seven, seventy seven, ninety seven. So, which is the correct number that matches our number name? Yes, ninety-seven. We counted numbers in tens and ones. Let's do a quick revision. We will start with tens up to one hundred. Now, if we start. With fifteen, what would the next number in tens be? That would be fifteen plus ten, which would be yes, twenty-five. And after that, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five, and ninety-five. Very good. Let's try another example. We'll count in tens from forty-seven to eighty-seven. If we start with forty-seven, the next number in tens would be fifty-seven, then sixty-seven, seventy-seven, and eighty-seven. Now, let's count in ones. If we want to count from seventy to eighty in ones, our first number would be seventy. What would the next number in ones be? That would be seventy plus one, which is seventy-one. And after that, seventy-two. Seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, and eighty. That's right. We also learned about numbers and number names. Let's match a number with its number name. Here is. Eighty-six. So, which is its number name? Yes, the eighty.
The answer is C, 86. Arrange these numbers in descending order. 76, 87, 95, 65. The biggest number is 95. Next would be 87. After that comes 76. And the smallest number is 65. So the order is 95, 87, 76 and 65. Write in numerals 7 tens, 8 ones. So we put the 7 and the 8 together and we get 78. Write in tens and ones. 98. The digit 9 is tens and 8 is once. So the answer is 9 tens and 8 ones. Fill in the missing numbers. 23. What number? What number? 53. 63. What number? The first number is 23. Then we have two more numbers, 53 and 63. This shows us that the numbers are counted in tens. So if we start with 23, the next number in tens would be 33. And after that, 43. This will be followed by 53 and 63. And the final number will be 73. So the missing numbers are 33, 43 and 73. The answer is 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Bye!